Today we're here to talk about reducing the time and the cost with detecting and responding to advanced threats. Traditional perimeter security controls stop 99% of the advanced threats that attack our environment. Those 99% are effectively what we know about. What it doesn't defend against is the 1%, the unknown. And they are the most difficult because normally they're targeted, they're advanced, and they're persistent. So how can we get visibility into our environment in order to reduce the time and cost associated in detecting those advanced threats? The first comes down to visibility. NK endpoint security is able to reach out to each individual endpoint and pull back about 500 kilobytes of data. The reason why we focus on the endpoint is because the endpoint is generally the target of every single attack. There will be something on, every, on an endpoint that will be used to penetrate other systems or gather data. So what do we gather in those 500 kilobytes? That 500 kilobytes covers system information, covers user data or user activity, and communications. We gather that inf information using our forensic heritage. Guidance Software has over 20 years experience in reverse engineering file systems and operating systems. That's why we can capture so much with so little data. Any more than 500 kilobytes is going to take time on the endpoint and resources away from the users using that individual endpoint. Once we have that data, we can correlate the activity across the users, systems, and communications across all endpoints. That correlation compares an endpoint against itself over time and an endpoint against other similar endpoints within the organization. Using that data, we can build charts that identify anomalies because we have a baseline. That baseline shows us the norm and then allows us to identify those anomalies that have not been detected by any prior security technology within your network. What sort of anomalies do we use or do we identify? Anomalies are found by comparing those individual machines. So take an individual user. A user may log into a machine they've never logged into before. That, in this case, in this environment, in this network, would be an anomaly. We could also identify a single executable. Take Internet Explorer or iExplore.exe. You could have multiple versions within your enterprise of this one single executable that's known to the Windows operating system. A number of three might be normal within your organization, but four or five might be abnormal. How are you to identify them if you don't have full visibility across your entire enterprise? Another way of identifying advanced threats would be communications. So do you have a Windows process communicating out to the unknown world when it shouldn't be? Those simple methodologies, policies, and behavioral analysis can be spanned and identified across all of your endpoints using that single 500 kilobytes worth of data that's collected and processed by NCASE endpoint security. So once we identify an advanced threat using NCASE endpoint security or any other traditional perimeter tool, we actually need a process of identifying and validating that advanced threat. So what we can do is take feeds from those traditional alerting tools into NCASE endpoint security. That feed allows NK endpoint security to reach out to that endpoint at the same time of the alert. This way, you're not losing any time between the threat that's been potentially identified and the system activity that's pulled so the security analyst can review what has actually happened. The data that comes back creates an attack trajectory timeline. That means that we can, on a timeline, identify what's happened at that endpoint around that specific event. Using that information, together with the information that came in from that traditional security tool, such as that firewall, that IPS tool, or maybe from a SIM who's aggregating logs. The two different sets of data can be used to correlate what's actually happened and allow the security analyst to very quickly, in fact, within seconds or minutes, identify whether or not that particular threat made it to the endpoint. If it did, they can run through the telemetry that's pulled from, again, that forensic heritage that guidance software has to identify a root cause. Once they've identified root cause, they now know the bad item that's within that specific endpoint, they know how it got there, and they can also tell the individual components of that individual threat. 
From there, it's a process of recovery. Recovery is simple and easy with NK Sandpoint Security. Why would you bother wiping and re-imaging a set of multiple systems when in fact what you can do is find the malicious item, any morphed iteration of the malicious item using our patented entropy algorithm across every single endpoint, then kill the process, delete the file that created that process, and delete any persistence mechanism that exists within the registry. This saves time without having to wipe and re-image because wipe and re-image occupies the time and productivity of multiple teams within our individual enterprise or our departments. And it saves money because you don't have security analysts and other members of the IT team reaching out and wasting time, three to four days generally or more, in wiping advanced threats. So let's recap. NK Sandpoint Security can help you detect advanced threats that you couldn't see before with traditional security controls. Helps you prevent a breach before it becomes a, de becomes a data breach. Helps you reduce the time associated with detecting those advanced threats, whether it's from the endpoint or from traditional controls. Helps you reduce cost and time in dealing with those individual threats. Hopefully today you've learned something new. Feel free to reach out to Guidance Software for more information. Thank you.